All right, boys, we're back with another video, another breakdown video, live gameplay. I'm playing with the current Eagles team, which is my best CFM team. Actually, a really good team, and we're playing the Titans right now. We are 11-0 in this CFM. Looks like we're on the short track to get the number one seed in NFC for sure. As we see, the Saints are 10-2, Bucks are 9-2, so I got to stay pace. I got two games up on those guys. We're playing the Titans now, who are actually 8-3. I don't know who this guy is, but we'll see. Uh, the Titans, the, I remember this is regular teams. We'll take a look at his abilities once we get into the game. I got a lot of questions, a lot of comments below, man. If you guys like this series, let me know. Uh, I will also try to answer as many questions as you have. One of the main questions I've gotten is zone drops. I'm going to use zone drops. For me, I don't use them very often. As you guys know, I play a lot of man-to-man. -man. So when I put zones, they're normally just helper zones. And most of the times when I put them, they are, we're down inside the red zone. So when I'm inside the red zone, I like to make them, uh, like to put them on 30. That way they stay back into the end zone. Now it hasn't worked the, the best, you know, in CFM and Mutt, it was great because the zones I put were amazing. They had pick artists, everything In CFM, it hasn't worked as well. But for me, um, I definitely was looking forward to, or that's when, that's when I use zone drops. The one thing I do use probably more than most people, and I'll talk about it on defense as we get here, we're playing Mr. Daddy Man. He is 8-3, so I don't know if this guy is good. I, I really don't know anything about him, but we'll see. Now, what I do use, like I said, more than anybody is the play the sticks feature. What the play the sticks is, it puts your zones right at the yard mark. So I, I, I tend to have my zones on default most of the game until they get close inside the red zone then I'll put them on 30 uh, and for me when I like when I do play the sticks if I get to like a third and eight but if my zones are on 30 now I can play the sticks and I can get my zones to play right at that 10 yard mark or five yard mark or one yard mark even so it's kind of like having zone drops on you know throughout the, the entire field if that makes sense you know you can put a 10 yard flat zone whenever you need to so for me that's what I use more than zone drops. As you see here, but this team is tough because CFM I've been running two-man under. I think it's the best CFM defense because you're not really going to get agged. Uh, the bumping is kind of random. It hurts offensive players. I'm going to pause the game and take a look at his abilities real quick because I almost forgot what he has. Uh, Malik Willis, you see it there. Malik Willis, CD Lamb, short out, short in. So that's the right thing to beat man coverage. Kendall Fuller, two knockouts. J. Ron Curse, two knockouts. Shaquille Leonard, uh, inside stuff. Tyler Boyd, short in, deep out. Inside shade, deep knockout. So, and inside stuff. So, he's going to run into some man coverage. He has the right abilities on his wide receivers to get open. So, we're going to have our hands full if he knows what he's doing. As we have Bradbury, gun bunch tight end. So, this I like to put this guy over here. And this, I don't know who this tight end is. I really don't. Uh, I, I, I'm just praying that he's not going to be Slay right there. He's really not. Fumble, first play. Let's go. Does he not have it? I didn't see that. I guess he does not have a, whatchamacallit, a edge threat or a, whatchamacallit. Yeah, a, um, that's knocked out. Oh, no, it's not. Somehow, Greedy Williams got ran right by. All right, so bunch tight end, play action every play. That means I don't have to guard the running back. Ah, he actually ran right there. Tough. Where's my inside stuff, boys? All right. So, we don't have to guard the running back. I have Slay on the tight end. Is that a waste? That's what I'm thinking right now. Gun tight. He can audible the goal line here, which is just nasty. This is, I don't know what this, I mean. Oh, my God. Good play. I got to guard him all the way through there. Good play. Yeah, I got to guard. I got to just guard him all the way through. I kind of guarded him a little bit, hold my pass rush to get there. I don't know why they do that audible to five wide out of goal line. I really don't know. Maybe it's all running backs or tight ends and wide receivers that I see there. Is that why they audible? I don't know what it was. I think it was two tight ends and three wide receivers audible to five wide, which I've seen. But for some reason, when I see a zero pop up on the when I when I see a zero pop up on the personnel, I think it's goal line. But it was actually audible to five wide. 
But I feel great because he doesn't have an edge protector. Hassan Rice might have a great day. Uh, we just can't give up those big plays that we gave up. Now here, I, I also hear people say, why don't you use four wide receivers? Most of the time it's not worth it because tight ends are good. In this league or in this with this team, it's worth it. Because I have Quez Watkins, 97 speed, Deshaun Jackson, 94 speed, Devontae Smith, and A.J. Brown. I also have Dallas Goddard, who's probably not worth taking out of the game either. But, you know, I'm cool with, with where he's at. Now, first thing I got to tell you is that he has man abilities all over, and he's in baseline. So I'm assuming he's going to be manning up a lot of people, you know. Right there, he just did a good job of hiding Chris Westry. Yeah, he's going to be manning up a lot of people, DB Fire. Like I said a million times, I want to snap the ball quickly here. I really just wanted to get on a hash mark right there on that play. Just because I just it's more predictable what they're going to do. So if you have five man abilities, I think you're going to be manning all these guys up. You know, which is cool. And the first person you got to make a man up is the running back. It's the first thing you got to do. Make them man up the running back. So I try to snap the ball right away as fast as I can, really. Quez Watkins. Burnt him over the top. Good read. I don't know how. We got lucky we didn't get knocked out right there. So he manned up every single person on that play. If you guys watch. Now I see that when I do the ball. Every single person was manned up. He's pinching his line here, so... A.J. Brown, Tutty, that was free. S snap the ball fast. It's the best, best, best bet I could tell you guys. Don't let them do all these crazy adjustments. You let somebody do all these crazy adjustments, you're going to have be confused at the snap. I don't want confusion at the snap. Man, I want basic zone. That's what we got on that play because we snapped the ball fast. All right. He hasn't passed once, which or hasn't run once, which is kind of good. He might run on this play, though. I mean, oh, my God, man. Just like... No matter how good your corners are, there's always that one guy that's going to get popped, you know? I got to worry about deep left since I put that guy in the middle. I got to worry about deep left. Tyler Boyd has a bum. He's got a bum on him. I'm actually going to put this guy in the zone here because of that. Put this guy there, purple zone. That's fine. If he runs, he got it. I really don't care. I have a purple zone. Ed Reed Blankenship pick. Let's go, Blair. Don't click on to anybody, man. You guys call me a bum, but sometimes, I swear to God, just let the defense play. Ed Reed Blankenship making a huge play right there. That purple zone over there made him think twice. He highballed there, where if he does it regular, it's probably a completion. You know? Here we go. We want to attack the short side. Remember, man. Attack the short side here. That's what we want to do. Quick pass. Get rid of the ball. Nice. I'm going to try to run the ball here. You guys know what happens when I run the ball. Oh, he pinched his line. He pinched the line. I kind of like to run inside zone. I mean, he just had the best run defense ever right there. Yeah, pinch line dollar, you're just, like, not running the ball on it. It's just that It's just that good. Let's give him some time here to see if he puts some people in coverage. That guy just went in coverage. Let me see who he's manned up to. Let's try to slide right. We got one person blitzing. We slide right and we ID him. AJ Brown's just not going to be guarded by any of your players that you have, dude. He's just not. No matter what abilities you put on him, it's AJ Brown. Now, chat tells me to run sneak here, which I might try, but it's really bad. So we're just going to run stretch. 
He's in dollar. So 100% should run commit here. We're going to try to get a free touchdown. We got one. Nice. I said when someone's in dollar and you're in you're in eye tight, first down, like they gotta run. I would run commit. You know, I would. Cause like if you're in dollar and you're gonna let me run, I'm eventually gonna pound in the end zone, right? Eventually. You know. So that's why I run commit. That's why I played a pass right there. This guy just asked me, why aren't you streaming? It's tough. I'm going to do that. I, I'm just worried about the deep corner. But I have Slay on number three. He should be able to guard number three, honestly. I mean, there's just no way. Like, oh my god. I almost want to shade up and shade out right now. Oh, he's going to audible to five wide here. That's his thing. He's in that formation. He might not. He might. Who knows? Right here, I just need to worry about this left side here. I'm not worried about anything else here. There we go. Pick. Oh, just the, I mean, we're good. Everybody beat the press on the left. He was like predetermined. He was going to throw that. I'm starting to realize these guys that play CFM all the time, like, there's this is way different. I'm starting to learn, like, the five wide is that, that play is, like, the best play in the game, fade out. I need to run that. Why don't I have that? All right, we know what play this is. Uh, what I've learned so far is that, you know, Slay plays the tight end pretty well here. I'm going to run with the deepest route here. I just am. If he throws that on the deep route, he throws, oh, we get, oh, we get a big shed. Oh, he's going to no huddle, no doubt about it. He's going to no huddle. I just don't want him to run by him. He probably will. Fuck. That's fine. Let's go, Reddick. There's only so much play action can save you, man. That's why when they ask me about who do you want abilities on, bro, your ability should 100% be on a secure protector. If you're losing a secure protector that fast, dude, you have no shot to play, dude. Like, none. None whatsoever. AJ. Oh, that's just got to be caught. Just got to be caught right there. I took a shot first down there. Back of the end zone. Can you blame me? Can you blame me for taking a shot? No pick artist on his team. They're going to say, that was lucky. He manned up every single person that play. He just manned up that side. He's only blitzing on the right side. When you see the slot corners move a little bit, that means he man they got manned up. Of course, you know, my life just can never just blow anybody out. Just can't blow anybody out ever. You just can never blow anybody out in this game. Not a single person can you blow out in this game. Just here we go again. It's just it's just unreal. I mean, I deserve to, I, I just always hate that. It's like right like if I could slide right there, I would slide, but you just you physically cannot slide right there. It's actually disgusting. You know? Uh, quarterback draw. This is really the, the bum CFM offense, dude. It really is. Every bum in the world, no huddle. Every bum in the world runs five five wide. I got I got to worry about the slot receiver here. I don't really care about anybody on the left, really. I do, but like I don't at the same time. Oh my god, there's no way we're getting just beat like that. I mean, this is just the bummiest shit in the world, man. I don't know, I should have looked how fast these players are, really. I gotta worry about running back pass here. I'm 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 bailing out to the right, running back pass. Then I got I got a zone on the left to guard slant left. I'm guarding slant right. It's fucking bagged. Uh, and my my flat zone was just that was a drag, not a slant.
Dog, like, this is, like, miserable, man. Oh, my God. All right, now this is where I'll put my zones on 30. Like, I want to press this formation, but I don't want to press. He's, like, milking the clock now. This is He's going to run right here. Yep. Yep. Two-minute warning. I could call timeout, but I, I think the way he's playing, don't disconnect, man. Please, please, please don't disconnect. Please don't disconnect, man. I really don't want to play CFM no more if you're going to disconnect. When he goes to five wide, I want to back the defense up and play that draw. Yellow zone, I want to spy this guy. Like, that's just so bummy, dude. It really is so bummy. Third and five. He might snap the running back here. He, he, he chew clock by accident. Yep, he had to call timeout. There it is. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my... I don't want my zones on 30 yet. I think I still... I'm going to use that play sticks here. He's going to audible. He's going to audible up. I swear. I, I really do. We're going to play sticks on this yellow zone here. Hopefully, he guards that. Play sticks. Hopefully, he guards that quick throw. We're shaded up and we're shaded out. I actually want to back these dudes up. I'm, I'm guarding whip route. Yep. Dumbass. Come on, man. God, I'm so much smarter than these stupid ass kids. Thanks for playing right there, boys. Please. Thanks for participating. Because you had the five-yard yellow zone underneath, he's going to guard that quick pass. He's eventually going to guard the drag going right to left. You have a zone on the left middle part of the field. All you got to worry about is outside right because you shade it up and shade it out. So in a perfect world, you won't get beat deep. And boom, just like that, that's what we had to guard. And people always tell me, well, how do you know where to lurk? That's literally where my weakness was on the field. And also, that's where he hit a big pass earlier in the game. Remember, he hit a big pass. Not a big pass, but that's one of his dots, especially short yardage, third and five. That changes the game right there. Now I can definitely just play. I don't even have to take any chances anymore. Default zones here. If he audibles up, which he probably will now because, you know. I'm in shambles, dude. I'm calling time. Oh, fuck. I got to guard the right side here. We actually so That's Slay. Come on, man. That's a pick. Pick artist, dummy. That's what I mean. When I see my best corner against a no-ability wide receiver, yeah, leave him alone. You have to know where your weaknesses are on the field. And the fact he trusted to throw that was just he's in shambles right now. Let's see if he mans everybody up here. Nope, they man up the running back. Oh, well, I should have went out of bounds there. Play, play the, a field goal here wins me the game for the most part, though. Let's see if he, he gets a twitch on the corners. I mean, he's just going to give me this again. Run out of bounds this time. Actually get some more yards, then out of bounds. Good stick. Let's go. Have to make them guard the running back first, and you have to snap the ball fast. He's definitely going to guard the running back this time. He, he just manned up Deshaun Jackson with that guy. So this means, oh, he manned up both guys. So we're getting max coverage this play. He might have changed it there. Yeah, he changed it a little bit there. We'll take off with Hurts. Good pocket. We're going to call another timeout. This is the area where I wouldn't man people up. Let's see what he does here. We got we got his user stuck. AJ. Oh, come on, kid. He's going to be tired, too. That's the worst part. I wonder if I can put Goddard back in. Yeah, there's goes Goddard right there. I know there's a way I can get Goddard back. I'm going to take, yeah, there's Goddard for one play. And we got, I'm going to run the same play. See, I don't think he'll leave it open here. We caught him on a D-tackle user. That's why I threw it. I think he'll lurk there. So let's look for our running back here. If he doesn't man him up. Oh, my gosh. Let's go, Jalen. Got to take those chances with a superstar quarterback, man touchdown 
I had the running back too. I had the running back. His, his lurk was a little indecisive. I was a little afraid. I honestly had Goddard again, but I just saw. I just saw Lane, and I took a chance with Jalen Hurts. I have to, right, boys? He scores that in real life ten times out of ten. Got to take a chance with Jalen. He fumbled earlier. I swear, I fumble more like when you're one yard from the line of scrimmage than you do when you're down the field. I mean, this guy's not the worst player. But, you know, my team is really good in this league. And, you know, if you're going to get lurked to the crib, you're going to lose. That's how I feel. Here, I just I just, I just, just don't want to give up. Uh, oh, he's going to double team here. I got to make sure he can't double team. I'm going to just run right into 75. Yep, perfect. It's fine. See what I mean about not letting him double team so my edge threat can run around the edge? I mean, dude, I just like, you know what I hate about this game forever? I'm running so well with that wide receiver to guard it, but we like tangle, we tangle feet. I bump into him a little bit and then I just get, I left. Like I stumble, but the wide receiver doesn't. That has always like, like what, how does that make any sense, boys? You know what I mean? I've always hated that this whole year about the game. He has three interceptions. Yeah, the one thing I'm realizing is that his wide receivers on the outside literally have no ability. So it's like you're going to get pressed to death here. Ah, he, he can have that. Just keep him in balance. That's going to make him use his last time out. That was a waste. All right, now we're on 30 zones here. I don't even want to shade up because, like, like I said, dude, his wide receivers on the outside don't have any ability. So same thing. We cannot... Let that dude get double teamed there. He can throw in the flat if he wants. 11 seconds left. Right here, we're, we're shaded up. We're shaded out. We have a yellow zone. We have a flat zone here. I actually want to put this guy here. I got I got corner route on the right. I got corner route on the right. I got corner route on the right. Everything else is funneled into those zones right there. And they're on 30. They'll be standing. They will be they, These zones will be standing in the end zone. Probably around the word mark. If he puts the running back out, I got to guard the running back. I just have to here. It's fine. If he doesn't, if he puts the running back out, my edge threat's going to get right around the edge. If he doesn't put the running back out, then I can go lurk. Same thing. That mid read should play right in the middle of the end zone. I could put a deep blue on him, but uh, I think a deep blue might go too far back. That mid zone will stand right on the G and Eagles. I got corner out right. Nothing right. I got this guy. Oh my God. Okay. I'm glad I I'm glad I caught that. I just almost fell asleep. I that surprise it like drops my heart when they throw passes like that. Like, what in the world are you doing? Like you had like like I, I almost didn't pick that off. Because when you're lurking, you're so ready for them to throw to somebody that's open. You're so ready for it. And right there, he literally threw right to the guy I was guarding. So it's like, it's like surprises you. And, and as much as you're down 21 points there, three points doesn't hurt you. It helps you. You know, zero hurts you. If you you get the ball to have, if you kick a field goal, it's 28 to 10. I know you guys never want to kick that field goal, but 28 to 10 is way better than 28 to 7. You know, and I get the ball. I didn't even know I get the ball. So this game's cooked. You know, he's beyond cooked right now. He's probably thinking about onside kick or not. You know, the thing about here here's here's why I would have kicked the field goal there. Or I would have I would have still tried to score. But if you kick a field goal, you can then allow me to kick you can force me to kick a field goal and it doesn't hurt you that bad, you know? It just it gives you a possession that you might need later in the game if you're gonna make a comeback. You know, if you're gonna make a comeback, you're gonna need that field goal somewhere. It's gonna help. It's gonna help in your comeback. The interception doesn't help. I know it's probably like we're talking about the frosting on the cake, like irrelevant stuff that doesn't matter that much. But, I mean, it should matter that much. You know, it should. Let's go Devontae. 
Now, if you notice that play, he played full out. Full out. Ah, uh, we got him. We got him in recent plays. Recent plays, field goal block. Love it. Love it. He played full out zone right there. I hate being in the middle of the field. Why? Because a deep third might guard my corner route. He just manned him up, so that's going to be... I wish I could motion two people on one play. That would be, like, ideal here. Just everybody's manned up. Here, I'm going to try a quick snap. Oh, we got Goddard in the game. We got to get A.J. Brown back in the game. I'm actually going to run the ball now. He has, I think he has inside, inside stuff on his DNs, which is probably tough. But like I said a million times, if you double team them, they won't. Or we just won't block the D-tackle. That's always good. I, You guys see why I rage. All right, let's go back to our package, which is what, tight end right, I believe. Yeah, and we get, yeah, we can keep it like this. We get A.J. Brown back in the game. You guys see why I rage, right? He's clicking on so late, too, to, like, make these tackles. I said everybody's manned up here. Everybody. Zone, straight zone, straight zone. I didn't want to play with his user. He guarded a flat to corner route over there. I didn't want to play with it. I don't like throwing near user. Why not when I got free yards up the middle? He might have audible the right to spinner right there. He might have. He did. Let's stay at it here. Maybe he'll do that again. If he's straight manned up every time, boys, well, let's try to hit him with this play. I don't see he doesn't have like inside shades, I don't think. But he ha he might switch defense. When they're taking a long time, they're setting up a new defense. No, nah, he's in straight spinner. And no the guy that's guarding Quez right now is actually no ability. So I'm looking for this touchdown to Quez. We're gonna go double slants here. We're gonna ID the furthest that guy. Hopefully we get some pass protection here. We got beautiful pass protection. Beautiful play. Wide open. Wide open. Find the player that doesn't have abilities to attack him. You know. That's one of the best features if you guys aren't using our, is the right trigger and then up on the right stick to look at what abilities people have. I know in mud it sounds stupid now because everybody has every ability. It's just ridiculous. And But when you're playing CFM or you're playing regs or you're playing mud next year early in the year, you know, people complain about abilities, man, especially in the CFM stuff. Not everybody has them. And if someone's going to play man-to-man, -man, you got to pick on the worst player. You know, you got to pick on their worst corner, and that's something you got to do when you're at the line of scrimmage. Look at who has a bad, you know, corner or something like that. So, I mean, he, he hasn't had a shot on defense. I honestly, did I turn the ball over? I fumbled with the quarterback. That's, you know. I don't think my defense is crazy good. I just feel like. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going with the deepest route. I'm going with the deepest route. I'm going with the deepest route. There's two crossers. I'm going with... Ah, he's got the running back. Good play. Oof. Juking to a hit stick. That's one of the biggest difference. Like, when I see, like, bad players play or, like, mediocre players tackling. All right, you do that. It would just flip everything. Tackling is something you guys, like... It saves such a... Like, look at that play. That running back was wide open. He got four yards. I just bumped... Oh, pick, pick, pick. Dude just bumped off a million people right there. I feel like my... I feel like I got to put my, my purples here. I'll put my purples on, on 10 to try to stop those crossing routes a little bit better. 10-yard purple here. We're here. Uh, I, I hate Titan right now. That's cool. Oh my god, I gotta be I gotta just commit to that more. Just gotta commit to that more. That's that's my fault. I put so many zones on the field. Pass commit, we're pass committing. Shaded outside. He audibles the tight. I'm actually gonna put deep blues because I'm not really sure what's gonna happen here. It's fine, dude. Good tackle, nice play, four yards. You're up by 28 points, you know. You're not losing it at. All right, we're going to run straight man here. Slay should hold down the fort here. I want that purple zone to kind of run with uh, 
this this slant here. Ah, he's got me underneath. It's up top. Are you trying to slay with gallop again? That's a tough decision. See? Leave slay. He was kind of beat right there, but he's going audible wide here. I'm going to I'm gonna shade up and shade out or press my, my defense up if he shades or if he audibles. Play the sticks. Play the sticks. Play the sticks. Oh! He blocked them too. Oh my gosh. I got to move that guy down further. About time you know huddle too. Yep, I'd run too if I were you. Nice play, dude. Grow up. You might as well quit this CFM. You're not winning it. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, buddy. All right, we're shaded up right here. I don't really like that, but we're going to stay on this guy right here. Try Bradbury, please. Oh, the bot play. There it is, the PA slot cross. Where would these bots be without it? Where would they be without that play? All right, I mean, listen, our defense isn't good. It's been two drives this quarter because how many tackles did we make? He hasn't scored. Now we have a lead, so he just milked the whole quarter. Why? By me, whatchamacallit, by taking my time, making tackles. Now we're at the 17-yard line. Now we're going to put – and we can't do anything. I'm just going to pause. Now we're going to put our zones on 30, and we're going to play coverage and tackle. You know, same thing, tight. Shade up, shade out. This is, this is beyond fine. Put this guy here. Fumble. Nice. Maddox, get out of there. Absolute blowout. Absolute blowout. The more plays you make them play on offense, the more likely they are to make a mistake. Always remember that. Here we go. Bench. This is the best play in the game to beat man coverage. Spinner. Left side. Wide open. User catch. Come back. Get away from the knockout. Who cares if he has deep knockout, medium knockout. User catch. Get back to it. Get back to it. It's the best play in the game to beat man coverage blitz like this. You should run it every play. Every play. Let's see what he does now. He puts, put a couple zones. A.J. Brown just front. Okay. Overthrown. All right, that time he played a couple zones. Let's put Deshaun Jackson over here in, in the money route here. Uh, I don't need to. I, I can use Quez Watkins, honestly. Oh, he actually put an ability over there. So let's put let's put AJ or uh, Devontae Smith on a corner route here. He 100% has playing coverage here, I think. That's my bet. Oh, he's not. Tough. But I knew, like, what's crazy is I anticipated coverage, but that was my read if he blitzed. I knew, I, I knew, like, once again, look at his corners. Studs is safety, stud on the right side. What does that mean? Devontae, oh, he just audible. It might have audible the zone. Might be DB fire, honestly, I think. I think it is. I really don't know, but. I think I've had a touchdown on the the the, the, the slant the streak there. Ah oh, man, I'm gonna run the ball here. Devontae Smith just got hit. He's tired. No, he's running bench. I'm not gonna run the ball. I'm gonna run. That's the that's the adjustment you gotta worry about. It took me a while. I I read right to left right there, so it took me a while to actually make that read. But. When they put the outside corner in a cloud or a flat or a uh, hard flat or a deep blue, this is like cover three or something. This is like, I don't know if it's cover three or what it is, but I'm going to assume it's coverage. And we got him on that guy. Could be a big play. It is. Got him. Dollar is so, uh, cover three cloud. Dollar is so used that you know exactly when they line up and when they don't. It's hard to explain, but. If you play against it enough, you know, you play against one guy that runs spinner all game, you see where they line up. All the DBs are kind of on the same line when it's zero coverage. All the DBs are like at 8 to 10 yards. Your corners, your safeties. Safeties are the biggest tell to what defense, what coverage they're in in dollar. 
So when you see that his safeties are at 12 to 15 yards, they're in zone. And the biggest tell with cover two, right, is the biggest tell with cover two is actually, hell no. Oh, my God. The corners on the outside will only be five yards off. It's one of the biggest tells with cover two. If they're like eight to ten yards off, then you're gonna get a little cover three action there. He's put he's and this is what I talk about my offense, but he's done a good job of actually attacking Avante Maddox, who was my worst corner. Just just never mind. Maddox, good play, Maddox. I don't know why he didn't throw this the streak that he put up the middle of the field. But, you know, he wanted to throw that. I don't know if this was a bad example of this game. I thought this guy would be better. I really don't think he's 42 to 7. Uh, one, I think I'm better than him, and this team is that much better than him. You know, so it's a tough spot. Someone throw it at me. I'm just too slow. I don't know who I'm using, but God, get them off of my team. I mean, who the hell was that? CD Lamb just, uh, who am I using? Eric Rowe? Oh, my God. I'm going to blitz an extra person here. Play it. I don't know what he's doing with this damn running back. The Zach Pascal. Like, what are we doing, man? Try to press right here. I'm going to get... That's hell no. It's like... You have this debate, too. Do I put Slay and Bradbury on the inside to guard these inside routes? Or do I keep them on the outside to lock up the outside? I put those guys in quarters out there. Look how lo look how locked up that is, dude. Bradbury, Hassan Reddick, uh, Slay on the right side. That's why I've kept them on the outside, just because they've done such a good job. I gotta worry about this streak on the outside here. Home, the good hit, Dubby. So that's what I mean. Like, where are you going to lurk? What are you going to do? I knew I was going to go there before the play started. Oh, man. Yeah, like I said, zone drops, here I would have them on 30. They might still be on 30. And the only way I'd change that is if I use, uh, whatchamacallit, if I use, If I use that third, see, I gotta, I gotta put this guy here. Oh, he's gonna flip this to do. Like, this is just so bummy. I'm gonna put this guy on a third here. And my guy obviously is just not do one more hot route. Hell no. I mean, j CFM is just a joke. That's a middle third going to the middle of the field and just lets that go by his. I, he goes for two down this many points. I hate these kids, man. I hate these kids. I really do hate them. He's going to scramble here. I'm actually going to not have a yellow zone here. I'm going to have, I'm going to have a uh, spy here. Yeah, this dude was probably hell with PA. Like, just, just miserable, man. Just miserable kids. Miserable Madden players. 42 to 14, and we're going for two. Just, just absolutely crab stuff. Good job, dude. Give yourself a pat on the back for being for getting two point conversion. Just like miserable, just miserable, man. Oh man, it's tough. This is like, you know, you're getting your the tail your tail beat off. <laughs> what? Ooh, just t just take it, run the clock out, man. I swear to goodness. And our like, dude. I'm just gonna I'm gonna run the clock out. I've had enough, man. We'll see what he does. I'm gonna run the clock out. This video is already at 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Hope you guys like this. I, I try to just talk as much as I can, and you know, oh, he doesn't have any timeouts. 
and go through as much. I, and a lot of what I do, I, I process so quickly that it's hard to like talk about it and talk about it in time that that I can actually communicate it the right way, you know? I just hate, like, look at the, like, all right, so this is the thing here. I want to get to that line. If I get to that linebacker, I score a million, I, like, I just run, just goes off. I'm going to add an extra blocker. If I can block this linebacker, which is actually spotlighted. Oh, we actually got to him and just didn't block him too well, but. You know, it's like when they pinch dollar, that's the hardest thing to do. I'm going to try to quick snap here and just get a play. He's blitzing both, blitzing one. Wide open, and Kelsey was the one that got beat right there. Wide open, and Kelsey was the one that got beat. I almost want to punt. I'm going to punt. Oh, man. Kelsey was the one that got beat right there, boys. But it's not that. What happens in the game is that your line, like, reacts to the corner blitzing, so they all kind of move out of the way a little bit, and then that causes Kelsey to move a little bit, and he gets a bad angle, and there's your disengage. And you think, like, damn, Kelsey got shedded. Like, not really, man. Tackle him inbounds. This is why we punted. I don't want him anywhere near the end zone. I really didn't. Like, there's just no way I gonna get no SWAT and no nothing. Like, these kids suck, dude. Like, this is just miserable football, man. It really is miserable, CFM. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do right there? Now nah, he's just gonna chuck. Audible up and chuck, dude. Inbounds, please. Thank you. Oh my god. Like what is your point right now? Just go to bed. That's how this shit just makes me mad, boys. Good game, dude. I swear if they let him get a spike off. Oh my god. Just embarrassing himself. Here we go, boys. Time for him to throw the ball in my face for a touchdown here. But this is what I like. This is why I like my defense. 30 yard zones all the way around. We're going to funnel. What's going to happen is we're going to funnel. Like they all want to throw this tight end pass right here. Right? They all want to throw this tight end pass. I fucked up. I got to call timeout. They all want to throw the tight end cross or the tight end post or the tight end when they run trips tight end. Just tight end is such a popular formation inside the 15, inside the 20. They all want to throw this tight. This is why I put my zones on 30 because they will have, they will 100% have a zone or they will have routes to pull down those zones on the left to throw to their tight end. So if you guys watch it, that tight end's going on a post. Let them go on a post. See? My zones, were, were they didn't get manipulated anywhere. Now, the ball didn't get there because we actually got a shed. But the but my, the point is, and I doubt they'll let me replay it on that play because it, it wasn't a completion. My zones didn't drop back at all or didn't come up at all. Here we go. Exactly what I mean. Why I put them on 30. You see number 33, Eric Rowe, and we see uh, number, who is this? 23, I don't even know who that is. My safety. But you see, they don't even, they just, they're staying right there for that tight end route. Now, most people, now this guy, this was a last ditch effort, but most people will have like a whip route down here, or they'll have a hitch route to pull down your yellow zones and your purple zones and stuff. But because you put them on 30, that way they don't react. Now, sometimes I, I'm not a fan of zone drops. I'm really not because I feel like they just play flat footed. They just stand there. Even when they're in the middle of the field, a five, a five yard zone, a 20 yard zone, they'll go to their drop and they'll stand there. But for this, I like it because they're going to play in the end zone. You know, they're going to play in the end zone. They're ready to rally up, make a tackle, everything like that. So that's why down here I put it on 30 yards. And that's exactly why I punted the ball there. I didn't want him to score any points at the end of the game. You know, I, did, I just didn't. 
it made me mad when he scored those one points. But anyway, like I said, that guy was eight and three. I mean, he knew the meta. He ran the meta. We just fried. We just played really well. We didn't make mistakes. He made mistakes. It's the difference between me and a lot of these kids. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of people ask for defensive tips. The number one thing is, man, people will beat themselves, as you see right there. We're 12-0 in the CFM. I might do all the Eagles games like this, honestly, help you guys out. Like I said, comment what you need more help with, any questions you have on the game or anything involved or anything that you saw that you want to know more about. Let me know, boys. I appreciate you guys still rocking with these man videos. This one's 45 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed it.